Fallout was originally intended to have a cannibalistic family called the Rippers who terrorized the people of Atatum and the LA Boneyard. The leader of the followers of the Apocalypse, Nicole, has four recorded cut lines where she specifically mentions the group. The Blades fight the Rippers down south. They're the most agreeable of the two gangs, though that's not saying much. We've converted a few of them. Well, the Boneyard is pretty scarce, as you can see. Aditum is to the west. The children of the cathedral are to the north. I wouldn't advise going too far south into the city, though. The Rippers and the Blades have made it into a battlefield. They war with the Blades down south. The Rippers are the most ruthless gang in the Boneyard. When we sent people to convert them, the only thing we got back were their heads. Most interesting among them is the fact that Morpheus, the leader of the Children of the Cathedral, was originally a member of the Rippers. They showed up around the same time we did, but no one knows how they came about. We've heard rumors that their leader, Morpheus, was part of the Rippers before he was enlightened by their dark god. He still has combat dialogue lines where he references his past in the gang, stating it's been a long time since I enjoyed hot blood on my fingers, and I didn't spend 10 years in the Rippers for nothing. I'm not sure if the latter line actually plays in the final release because Morpheus kept getting incinerated by Nightken. Cultist robes and flamethrowers are a match made in heaven. Tell me about lines regarding the Rippers were set up and later disabled when the gang was cut, but they still remain and give us some interesting information about them. The Gunrunners would have told you that they were a hair trigger gang to the west. Or hey, they may be stupid, but they sure buy a lot of guns. And the Rippers are all one big family, literally. They're impossible to deal with if they don't know you, so don't even try. They are in a big booby trap fortress southwest of us. Watch out for landmines if you're stupid enough to visit. When asking the gunrunners about the blades, they would have said, They've converted several small buildings to the southeast into their home. They are pretty well organized and smarter than the rippers. They sometimes let outsiders join too. Their leader Razor is one tough woman. When asking them about their organization, they'd say, That's us. Good money and selling guns to the Blades and the Rippers here. On the other hand, the people of Aditum would tell you, The Rippers are all inbred. They have a fortified building with traps around it where they take prisoners to be tortured and killed. The Blades would have said, Our arch enemies to the west will be crushed soon. The Rippers are like mangy dogs, vicious, inbred, and stupid. Or, inbreds and jackals. They attack anything in sight that isn't related to them. They live west of here in a fortress surrounded by traps. When asking the Blades about their leader, they'd say, Razor is our leader and champion. I have no doubt that her experience will grant us victory at last over those Rippers. While most of these references were disabled, at least one still remains in game. When speaking to Chris Avalone, an NPC near the followers base, he'll still tell you that they're an ultra-violent gang to the west. There is also unused combat lines where Blade members would say, Your mama slept with the Rippers, you're as weak as a Ripper, and my eyes, you son of a Ripper. From all of this, we can gather that the Rippers were an inbred family of psychos who would kill anyone who wasn't a part of their group, including the Vault Dweller. They were being supplied by the Gunrunners, suggesting they were well equipped. Their hideout was defended by landmines, and the map where they would have appeared is still used in game, placed between downtown and the Gunrunners' fortress. Posters on the front of the abandoned warehouse still depict their name. The poster itself is awesome, teasing a film directed by Tim Kaine and starring Leonard Boyarsky and Jason Anderson. Below that it states, If I don't get a bonus soon, I'm going to blow up the administration building with extreme prejudice. Incredible. It seems that after they were cut, the developers placed death claws here rather than cutting the map entirely. Most importantly, the Rippers were a rival of the Blades and at war with them. 
In the final game, the Blades are a group of good-natured survivalists who initially have very little access to firearms, and many of their NPCs use melee weapons. Their original iteration was much different, though. A more traditional, violent gang that fought the Rippers and wielded high-tech weapons. Some cut lines mention that the Blades always use those weird vibro knives they make, Vibro Blade was the early name for what would eventually become the Ripper weapon, and there's a wonderful irony that they would have used them to fight the Rippers. Another cut line regarding the followers illustrates the Blade's initial violent tendency, stating, Pathetic peace preachers to the West. We'd crush them if we weren't busy fighting the Rippers. In game, the people of Atatum hate the Blades because they believe they killed John Zimmerman's son, a character who's only mentioned in the final game. During that questline, it's revealed that the Regulators were actually the ones who killed him, and that they framed the Blades for his murder. However, it seems that John's son was originally intended to appear, and was going to be kidnapped by the Rippers. He still has a leftover text file, and after reaching him he would have said, Thank goodness you're here. Please get me out of here. I thought that it would be fun to leave Atatum and explore the world, but the Rippers caught me and have been holding me here. Please help me. He also has an interesting line where he comments on the Poiter saving Atatum from a gang war. I never thought that we would be able to stop fighting the gangs. My father told me how you got them to promise to leave us alone. You know, I thought I always wanted to go adventuring, but I think that I like, well, the feeling of security here now. No more worrying about the gang suddenly attacking and wondering who's going to be killed. This reveals that both the Blades and Rippers were attacking not only each other, but also Atatum. A cut quest once revolved around saving Atatum by killing the leader of the Rippers, Tangler. It seemingly would have been started by speaking to a cut member of the Blades named Fire. You could have started it by telling them I want to become a Blade, to which they'd reply, Simple. You'll have to kill someone to get in here. She will tell you who you're gonna need to kill. You could also say, What would it take for me to get peace between you and Atatum? Fire would then state, Simple. Slaughter our enemies, then we will give Atatum a break. During the conversation, you could apparently come off as a member of the Rippers, as Fire has a line that comments, So you are a Ripper. I'd be sorry to hear that, but then I already knew they were stupid. Good night. It might have been possible to join the Rippers at one point, but I suspect this was only an amusing line, as there's a developer note that implies they were simply generic enemies. The Rippers will not engage in dialogue and thus have no tell-me-abouts. Before going after Tangler, the player could also talk to a cut member of the Blades named Dolgan, who would tell you, So you think you can take on Tangler and his wimps? Here, I'll teach you how to use that blade. After training the player in melee weapons, he'd say, Now you're a little better at that. Go kick Tangler's butt into next year for me. It seems that Dolgan was an early version of McRae, a blade who will improve your melee skills if you help out the faction. McRae mentions that he trains the other blades to fight against Deathclaws and Regulators, rather than the Rippers like his original incarnation did. After accepting the quest, the player would then travel to the Ripper's hideout, dodging landmines and fighting off generic members of the gang. Non-unique Rippers would say combat lines like, Rape him or kill him. I can never make up my mind. Ripper's gonna rip you to pieces. Please don't die yet. I want you to suffer and one serving of death coming right up. After fighting their way past his family, the player would finally reach Tangler. During the battle, he'd say fluting combat texts including, I am the most evil man alive. You have offended the king of the boneyard. I'm gonna carve you like an iguana on a stick. Die, 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 die. You're gonna be feeding the worms tonight. And lastly, a line that suggests they were all cannibals. I will eat you one piece at a time. Upon dying, Tangler would drop an item called Tangler's Hand. 
The sprite and description still remain, which reads, A cybernetic manipulator in the shape and form of a hand, damaged due to the sloppy nature of the removal process. Tim Kaine commented on the cut item in the Fallout Bible, stating, Tangler's hand was used to prove that you killed someone, duh, Tangler probably, and I think it was an additum, which was heavily modified near the end of Fallout's development. At this point, it seems the player would have saved Aditum and could join up with the Blades. Afterwards, the player could speak to Dolgan and he'd say, Great job on hacking those rippers. What can I do for you? It seems that you originally collected Tangler's head instead of his hand, as Fire has a line that states, If you got the head, take it to Razor. She still wants to play soccer. Otherwise, get out. I asked designer Jesse Heineg about Aditum's original story and he replied, Leonard Boyarsky argued correctly that the formula of townies inside, gangs outside was overdone in post-apocalyptic media, Ultimate Warrior, Road Warrior, Steel Dawn, etc. He decided we should flip the script. I wanted to do the original formulation because I thought it worked for a reason, relatable and recognizable to audiences. He was right and I was wrong. Rather than recycling an old trope where the regulators defended Aditum from the nefarious Blades and Rippers gangs, the Rippers were instead cut, the Blades became relatively altruistic, and the regulators became draconian overlords of the settlement. This is a perfect example of how an area can evolve into something much better midway through development. While the Rippers were an interesting group, they were wisely replaced by a more intriguing questline and were ultimately left on the cutting room floor.